Hello Aries, welcome to your mid-month reading. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. This reading is going to be both love and general. So I'll be doing the general reading for you, Aries, towards the end. And I'm starting with the love reading. Keep in mind, the messages can be vice versa. And it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up for you. What do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries when it comes to love? Okay. Daydreams and decisions. Aries, looks like you have a decision to make at this point when it comes to love. I'm going to read the full meaning of this card towards the end of the love section. But let me see what we got here. What are the love messages? Okay. Passion. Romance. Looks like something's getting ready to happen. And we have a missing piece here. Well, missing pieces. Some of you, the message that I'm getting is that you may be with someone right now who is romancing you and giving you everything you want, but there's no connection. You may be missing someone from the past. That's just one message I'm getting. The other thing is that this person that you're with currently, you may have separated from them or there could be some type of or something that happened because we have forgiveness there's a missing piece here but there's also these passionate feelings there's romance so this does look like a temporary stall in a connection let me see aries what do we have it's safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the energy of all we have red flags Pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. So you may feel worried. There may be something that happened with this person that makes you feel like you can't trust them. There may be a red flag. You may have kept your distance. Unrequited love. There's not enough love or, sorry, <clears throat> there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold, to unfold naturally. I'm still seeing those two stories. One, some of you are dealing with someone who you're not into and you, your mind is on someone else or you're dealing with the person that you're into but they're showing some red flags or some signs that make you feel unsafe in love with them but let me see the person that aries has in mind how do they feel about aries what are their current feelings when it comes to aries nine of swords they could be a fellow Aries or a Leo. Could be Sagittarius. We have Libra. We have Virgo. They have quite strong feelings for you. And I feel like they're really devastated if, if there is a separation going on or if there's no communication at the moment. Because we've got this Nine of Swords. That's the only, well, Nine of Swords in the Hermit, slightly negative. But then you got the Queen of Wands, Empress. You know, this person wants growth. They want, like, they feel stable in this connection. Four of Wands is, can also be a marriage card, commitment card, stability. So if they've been kind of pulled away from you, that explains this Nine of Swords, them not feeling so good about this because they have these really positive, really warm feelings towards you. Now they're kind of thrown into this Hermit, this Nine of Swords. So let me look at your main spread okay what's going on with aries when it comes to love mid-december what's going on with aries Is a decision that some of you feel you need to make at this point okay there haven't there hasn't been much communication some of you may be waiting on an apology from this person but they seem it seems that maybe they try to play some type of game 
Well, they, I feel like this person really slipped up. They really slipped up and you saw something that they did as a red flag and you may have pulled away. It could be that they've pulled away from you and you're seeing that as a red flag. Now they're, now they're having a hard time coming back in. This person, they have a lot of feelings for you. And they know that they need to be the one to come forward. Okay, some of you are, I feel like because a lot of you don't feel like it's safe, you're trying to let go of the feelings that you have for this person. I feel like you would be open to hearing an apology and an explanation and making it work with them, but you also feel like it's best to let go of the feelings at this time. So you are torn, you know, trying to make a decision. The issue here is communication. Things that are not that are unsaid you do need answers from them and you may not be getting those answers just yet and that's why you don't know what to do i do see that you are getting the sense that this person wants to come out of conflict with you you, you can kind of sense that but you have the devil here it could be a capricorn for some of you you do feel wait let me clarify this devil <laughs> why the devil as the outcome for aries i need to know exactly why okay Ace of Cups. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Nine of Swords. The Four of Wands again. You feel comfort with this person, and some of you may be questioning if it's because of their behavior. Some of you are thinking, like, am I attracted to bad behaved people? You may be questioning if, if this is because of their bad behavior you know when it's, it's kind of like a it's so wrong but it feels so right some of you are feeling like okay i shouldn't be you know i shouldn't be ignoring red flags but it's, it just feels so good <laughs> it feels so safe with them so comfortable i see that they may offer you love and it may be tempting i feel like this devil does represent temptation for you when this ace of cups is here because there's there's the red flag, there's a feeling that there's a feeling that it's not safe to be with this person, but at the same time, there's like you're tempted because there may have been a really good connection, it may have been passionate, fiery, steamy. And now you're just like, oh my gosh, am I falling for this person again? Aries, let me read. Let me read your card. Where is it? Where is it? No. Yes, okay. <clears throat> Fantasies, imagination, options, choices. When this card appears, it often means that there is that there's a certain amount of confusion and uncertainty regarding your love life. What is that you sorry, what is it that you really desire? What would you like to do? Sorry, what would you like to change or attract? You have many options in front of you. If you will only see them. Do not daydream about the possibility, sorry, about the possible futures. What am I saying? Have fun. It's, it's through your fantasies and imagination that you transform your desires into reality. Once you've sorted out your options and played around with the possibilities, it's time for action. Mm -hmm. While it's pleasant to daydream, stay in staying in fantasy land is not wise. Take your time, but eventually decisions will have to be made in order for you to move forward. Reflect on your wishes. Decide which feels right. Choose a course of action. You'll feel powerful for having made the decision and will be on your way to manifesting change. So it ain't bad to, <laughs> it ain't bad to, to imagine Okay, Aries, 
you may be thinking about the passionate past you have with this person and oh my gosh emotions sorry emotions is that the song what song am i getting right now emotions running wild is what i'm hearing but i, I feel like i'm hearing alicia keys um you don't know my name when she says my imagination is running wild so let it run okay let it run wild you may come up with something there but i really feel like this person is tempting for you you may be really attracted to them they may be very tempted and you just feel like oh my gosh they're showing me red flags but how do i reject them you know i do feel like you should just be strong I'm not saying you need to reject them but also keep an eye on them don't fall fully if you feel like falling fully for this person is an unwise decision then just try to not fall fully for them try to just uh, you know dabble in it a little bit i don't know i don't know aries but just don't don't worry about um daydreaming it's a part of the process maybe imagining a good outcome or positive change will manifest like like the book said very possible so Aries, I'm going to get to your general spread and see what's coming up for you in your life. Aside from your love life. So what's going on with Aries? Give me some messages for Aries. Three of Swords. Sadness. Take time to heal. You need to forgive yourself and others. Three of Cups. A celebration, a wedding, graduation, a birth announcement, the need to have fun. This card keeps coming up because you're coming up to the holidays, so there's going to be a lot of celebrating, obviously. So it's just reminding you that even if you do have this Three of Swords and you are feeling heartbroken, maybe over this situation, there's still some fun coming up. There, there's going to be a, a distraction from this, okay? Unity traditional viewpoints or methods spiritual organization seek out mentors and like-minded friends seven of swords plans that need revision more going on than than meets the eye poor timing so let's look at your spread What's coming up for Aries when it comes to their personal life? Yes, Aries, you're going through it. This Ten of Swords lets you know things are about to change. So this Three of Swords, the heartbreak, the sadness, that, that pain is coming to an end. Let's see. Some of you got Scorpio energy coming through. Okay. You're going through a transformation, Aries. No wonder you're in pain. This is your current energy, death. So you know you're about to be out with the old and in with the new. Go through the process. You are coming out of a break here. If you're on a break with someone, you're coming out of that break. Or if you've been taking a break or have been avoiding people, I see you may be open opening up for the holidays getting with family being more open but your accomplishments king of cups you may accomplish rekindling a love relationship or mastering some project that you had going on this is really powerful energy accomplishing something big something that you're passionate about so it could be the relationship it could be something in your own life your career overall happiness but the theme here is the past, somebody who's unable to let go of the past. So your struggle at the moment, I mean, your obstacle is kind of similar, the Eight of Cups. So you're kind of struggling with freeing yourself from the past. Could be that relationship with that person. You may have felt, obviously, like I see, you felt the need to walk away. 
but still having these feelings or these memories of the passion, the connection that you had. So that may be plaguing your mind a little bit, but you're going to be distracted. In Aries, <laughs> you are the queen of being, well, king or queen of being distracted. Okay, you can, something can distract you. You can, you can just be distracted, okay? A good time can take your mind off of things. So we have... The fact that you need to not put in too much energy to the in the wrong places you have to know where to steer your energy steer your energy into something you're working on something you're building not something that you are mourning or you know set about shift your energy and the other areas will grow but some other areas in your life may need your attention I am seeing that you need to do things the untraditional way. So if some of you, some of you may need, like if you're spiritual and you're trying to have some kind of business in a spiritual field, you kind of have to be open about it and proud of yourself and not worry about what people are thinking. Don't worry, like either way, when, whether it's in love or in your own career, your own life, your personal life, not to worry about what the traditional types of people think, the closed-minded people think. Just be open and don't worry about the opinions, okay? Eventually, whatever you're doing will become a trend. It will be accepted soon, whatever it is. Or if your family doesn't accept your person, maybe they will soon or they should just not be in your business. <laughs> but we have the Five of Cups, okay? You're not seeing the blessings that are coming to you because some of you, you're still focusing on the three of swords, the heartbreak, the past, and there's something big coming your way. It could be, you know what I feel? I feel like things are going to go well in your personal life or your career first and then your love life. So because you're just focusing on the love, you're not seeing the blessings that are coming your way. So you really need to just shift your energy just for a bit. And you'll see that both areas actually start to blossom okay so soon somebody who may have been rejecting your offer will start to accept your offer this could be in love this could be a job offer or you're trying to push your idea to someone to see if they'll, they'll get on board whatever is being rejected will will no longer be rejected the doors will open I feel like that's when you shift when you shift your focus as well okay and for a lot of you if you are carrying the weight of a relationship or most of the weight of something you won't have to carry much weight you may have someone who takes the burden off of you some of you may find that you don't have much support when it comes to your career and that's fine doing things yourself can make you feel more proud in the end and more independent we have prosperity lies ahead taurus a new romantic cycle begins libra i told you okay focus on the prosperity of the career your love life is going to renew it could even be with the same person it could be with someone new just shift your focus and see what happens and the end of a tough cycle approaches i told you because the death card so this is just the process that you're going through a time to give rather than take virgo energy um, but capricorn energy as well remember to give back remember to understand that energy will flow flows back and forth so you have to share um share knowledge share energy with the right people spread love i'm hearing to give advice as well you may find that you meet people who are in the same situation and you have the answers because you've been through it. So don't hesitate to help someone out, especially when they only need just some little advice. And, you know, it's the least you could do for someone who is going through something that is very familiar to you. So we have the situation will improve if you believe and remain positive. That sounds like a sentence. <laughs> So your situation will improve if, if you believe and if you stay positive we have there's something better so you may have a better job option out there for you maybe one rejected you and you feel like it's the end of the world and and then something better comes along a better idea better job better career possibly a better person if it turns out that you don't end up trusting this person but 
anything that was lost, I feel like it's coming back better. Bigger and better is what you're getting. As long as you don't allow yourself to stay focusing on what you lost, because there's more coming, okay? Better things. You're going to be glad that you didn't accept that, okay? So just wait and see. So Aries, this is what I'm seeing for you. I hope this was helpful. There's Scorpio energy. Libra, Capricorn, and Taurus, Virgo. Those are the main ones. So the general spread. So like if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.